my name is Sherry Honkala, and I'm running for Philadelphia Sheriff on a zero foreclosures platform. I'm the first wo woman to run for Philadelphia Sheriff. I'm also the first person in the country um, that's going to stand up and run on a platform that says that I'm not going to allow men, women, and children to be thrown out of their homes. And as a formerly homeless mother, I'm really excited to have with me here today my son, Mark Weber. He's flown in from Los Angeles. It's great to be here. Uh, yeah, I love my mom. <laughs> Um, you know, it is, uh, it's really incredible what my mother is doing. Um, you know, I, uh, really don't believe in the Republican Party or the Democratic Party, and to, um, have my mother, um, running under the Green Party, uh, is amazing. She's really, um, you know, the only person I know who actually really takes action, um, in life, uh, to help others. Um, I think it's unbelievable uh, the fact that she's willing to run for sheriff and to stop foreclosures. Um, in this day and age, it really is just um, appalling that people are kicked out of their homes. Um, and there needs to be uh, a new strategy, and that's where my mom comes in. Um, so I'm just incredibly honored and proud um, to be her son and to be here today back in Philadelphia. So I grew up here in uh, North Philadelphia with my mom um, as a poor kid, and uh, we were homeless for a few years. And How poor were you? We were really poor, super poor, um, really, 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 really poor. Um, unfortunately, how uh, most Americans, uh, most people in this world are, um, and. I grew up going to uh, housing takeovers and demonstrations um, all for um, basic human rights for people. Uh, you know, my mother is a firm believer that no one should go without food, housing, clothing, and education in this country. Um, and it's an incredible way to grow up, although it was hard at times, um, you know, having a mother as, as strong and as amazing as my mom um, it was really incredible. Uh, nowadays, I'm a, I'm an actor and a, a, a filmmaker, um, and uh, I'm really fortunate. And I know how fortunate I am, and how lucky I've become to be working in the industry that I'm working in. Um, and I never uh, take for granted uh, what I do. And actually. Um, you know, it, it is my mission, basically, in my life to um, kind of mobilize other young people with resources and, and um, a voice um, to do something with that power. Um, and that's, that's, that's what I do. Yeah, well, I, I think that, you know, it's, a, it's, it's an education process. It's like a simple education. Once um, people who, f who think that they actually have something realize that in actuality they are being oppressed in some way, um, then you can start a dialogue with those people. Um, and it's just about being diligent and, and uh, really um, believing in humanity and just, just being aggressive and, and staying on, on, on those people. Um, it made me appreciate what I do. Um, it made me uh, work really hard for it. Um, and it made me just appreciative. Um, and it also, it's not my everything, you know. Um, you know, my everything is, is really helping people out um, and being a part of a movement. Um, that's what I'm really about, you know, and, and I'm just fortunate that, you know, acting is my job. Um, and it helps me be able to uh, keep myself afloat and um, gives me an ability to be able to put my, my beliefs out there, um, which is a great, you know, organizing tool. My campaign is totally different. Uh, normal campaigns, whatever normal is, 
uh, generally have, you know, uh, at least a dozen well-paid staff um, who are basically doing it from nine to five. And I'm very blessed to have uh, uh, a variety of amazing human beings who uh, work till like two o'clock in the morning, don't have any money, um, a couple of staff members, They've even like walked here from Junietta just to work on my campaign. Uh, I have people that are in foreclosure right now um, that are working on my campaign, and uh, it's a very different thing. And I'm a, I'm a, you know, all this stuff in the women's movement and stuff like that about you know supporting women candidates. Um, I I right now um, have no idea how I'm paying rent this month. And I'm a single mother, and I'm running for political office. And so I've learned that in order to run for office, you have to be like a, a millionaire. You have to have a great deal of money uh, in order to like set your whole life aside and run for p something that you believe in. And so it's quite a struggle um, because also campaign rules are set up so that I can't get money um, even if I raise all the money, I can't use any of my campaign money towards paying for childcare. So already the fact that I'm like broke and then I ha somehow have to find money out of the sky to pay for childcare when I've got, you know, you know, 10 different events on a daily basis, um, it's quite a challenge. Well, you know, everything that my mom is saying is, is just emblematic of like who she is. She's the real deal. She's a real person. She actually cares about people. She's running for this office to help people, to save people. Whereas opposed to other candidates and people who run for office are running to just have a position of power for themselves, to be in some type of, to have a, a, a title that they're given. And don't really do anything. Um, they just kind of run in the same little circles within the system and really don't make any type of change or impact. And here you have a woman who throughout my entire life, all she has done is made an impact on people's lives. Um, so I, I don't know about you, but when I look at other candidates and other people who run for things, I'm always disenchanted. I'm like, I don't believe these people. These people are actors. They're not doing anything. They don't really want to make anything uh, happen for anyone. They don't really want to affect any change. Um, and that's how most people feel. And now you have someone like my mother who's running for sheriff who's really gonna do something. And to me, that's unbelievable. And that, I just, people need to go out and vote for her um, if they really want someone who's gonna make an impact. Um, and there's, the, the thing is too, is that um, my, my son will tell you I'm, I'm not Mother Teresa. Um, that I'm not just about like helping people, um, but I, you know, I've been living and working in the city um, and attending funerals for people that I love and that I care about um, because they couldn't survive under this system. And right now in this country, with people losing their homes every seven seconds, something has to be done about it. And I have, I have an agenda, and that's to uh, be a part of a process of helping to, to build and to, to develop uh, articulate leaders um, who can develop critical thinking skills and figure out how to deal with the situations that they're facing. Because <clears throat> um, my, you know, my son will tell you that the most important thing to me in my life has been, I love him, I'm very proud of him, I think it's wonderful that he's a movie star. I'm his biggest fan. But something that's far more interesting and more important to me as a mother is like how he lives his life as a man. And um, so since the time that he was a little boy, um, not just because my name is Sherry, but uh, his whole life has had to have been about sharing. So whether he liked it or not, people slept in his bed, sleep, people slept in his room, People slept in the living room. Uh, when other homeless kids didn't have toys, they became, you know, Mark's toys became their toys. 
um, and you know the the fact that um, he understands that like all of us are inseparably connected to each other. There's no there's no mm -hmm. there's not this idea that somehow we get out of this situation. If your eyes are open and you have these morals and these values, which I believe I've instilled in my son and they're his own values, then you, this is something you just can't get out of. Mm -hmm. Because once you see something, you have a responsibility to do something about it. And uh, I think all of us that are living in this country right now, and the fact that we're conscious, we know right now, a million people are going to be thrown out of their homes this next year. Concretely, in Philadelphia, we can keep Will and Glenn and Jill and whoever else and whoever else and whoever else in their homes uh, in Philadelphia if we go to the polls on November 8th and we vote for Sherry Honkala, then nobody will be thrown out of their homes. And so it's incredibly important that people not just sit around and say, oh, I wonder what we can do. Maybe a couple of years from now we can get some legislation. Maybe we can change things in the halls of con Congress. Or, you know, um, well, who is Sherry running against? Is this other guy, are these other guys good guys? This isn't about whether or not these other guys are good guys. This is about whose platform do you support? My platform promises that I will not throw any man, woman, or child out of their house because it's archaic to do it in 2011. So vote for me. And if you don't vote for me, then you're participating in throwing families out on the street. Um, well, you know, I'm, I've been blessed. I've been fortunate to um, uh, have worked in this uh, entertainment industry for about 12 years now. Um, and I've carved out a bit of a name for myself, um, have my own little celebrity status, uh, particularly uh, here in Philadelphia, um, and I've come here to um, shake things up a bit, um, get my other uh, musicians and actors and artists uh, involved. Some of my friends um, here run some uh, pretty influential um, arts and culture magazines and blogs. Um, and uh, I'm here to get them to start covering this campaign, which I think is really very, very important. Um, I'm here to speak to you today and help get the, the word out and let people know just what my mother is doing. And I'm also here um, as a man on a mission to raise resources um, for this campaign. Um, it will be impossible without your help, um, and we need it. So here's the phone number that you can call the campaign office. It's 215. 923-3747, 215-923-3747. If you call um, and are willing to make a donation, I will sit down here and meet with you personally, um, and we can talk about uh, just what my mother is doing um, and, and how she is, is the one. It takes people um, to, uh, to run this campaign. Um, my mother really has a shot um, of, of, of getting, uh, becoming sheriff um, and really impacting um, a major change um, to keep families from being out on the streets. And we need you, we need volunteers. Um, besides resources, we need people to come here who are willing to go hang posters out, um, give out flyers. Um, we need you. So come on down. <laughs>